I was listening to Alec Baldwin's podcast called Here's the Thing, and he had on Peter Bergman. Oh. Have you ever worked with him? Yeah, and Young and the Restless. That was my whole obsessive, compulsive character, Patty Williams, on that one. Okay, so, but he was talking about in the glory days of soaps in the 70s, 80s, and 90s, that so many of the actors and actresses were Broadway actors. They would get released to go do Broadway and stage productions at night, and they would let them out and accommodate the shooting schedule to be okay today I have to be I have to be wrapped by three because I have to be over at the you know right and he was talking about the value of shooting in New York but that the quality of acting on a soap and the talent of the actors is incredible because they had this whole other life as theatrical performers right and they know what it's like to be doing it live and having to just be spontaneous and and yeah I mean because you and I don't know what it was like, I mean, back in the day, like Doug Davidson, Peter Bergman always mm. let me know, know how um, wonderful. I mean, it was yeah. like you rehearsed all morning yeah. for a soap and then you had lunch and a really lovely lunch uh, and then yeah. you would go and shoot the rest of the day. Well, I'm going to send you that podcast because I think you would love I to would listen love to, to it because he talks about all kinds of things, even, you know, and now what you were telling me about... Um, when you were back in Grand Rapids, you were telling me about the pace of the shooting of soaps yes. and that you basically get one take. Yeah. And unless you really screw, screw up, it up, they're gonna take they're gonna take that yes. take yes. and you're moving on because you have forty pages you, of dialogue. Even to more do. than that. They yeah. have like sixty sixty pages sometimes. I mean, and you're talking I've had just alone, I think the most sixty, sixty four pages. That's incredible. Yeah. And how do, yeah. And so you don't even, focused, don't even ask how. And that's just for that day, right? <laughs> yeah. And then you're moving on to the next day. There's 30 more pages. And you have another 30 more pages that. for that day. And you're just constantly memorizing and, and yes. in your head about your character and how you're going to approach it. Yes. And then you quickly block the scenes. They do a quick blocking. For us now, it's like you 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 get up in the morning, have as much coffee as you can to get your wake, up, wake yeah. up, and then go to work, and you start hair and makeup, and then they... Um, usually at 7.30, they'll call you for block. So there's a hour and 15 minutes of blocking everybody mm-hmm. in that morning session. And you're standing in for that? And you go in, and they literally, the director will say to me, okay, so you bring your pages in, and okay, on this line, you walk in the door, you're going to stand here, and you try to run the lines while you're doing it. So Because for me, as an actress, I work through physicality. I, I yeah. Mental does not work for me. It, I, I have to get out of my head, or I'm all in there, and I right. can't even play, and I so like you're to phys- play. So when you're rehearsing and memorizing, you're, you're walking and moving. Walking moving sometimes, sometimes yeah. jumping up and down sometimes sure. dancing yeah well, you are a dancer <laughs> you like, or just goofy you like flavors or sing da- or yeah. we sing sometimes yeah. but just to kind of lighten it up because it's yeah. we know especially when you're you're drive the driving force of the scene sometimes when you're not it's a little bit easier because you yeah, can be a little background. more passive your background but, you're all going um, watching some but argument when happen. you're you know um so yeah, and so you go in, and the director will give you your blocking, mm-hmm. and then you go back to hair and makeup, and then usually you run lines with the actor, and then yeah. they have a um, coach on the set to help run lines if you know somebody's not around sure. or yeah. you know, and then you go back and hopefully have enough time to just decompress for a moment, and then go do and it. then go in and Collect do it. But and you are literally. And I think I, I mentioned this to you when we were in Michigan. It's like every time you go in, for me at least, I haven't been doing it for 20, 30 years, so I'm not, you've I don't feel like active, a powerhouse. But not on, uh, but not on soaps, you're no, saying. No, I, mean, you've been I still always feel soaps. like a newbie. I, yeah. I really do. Um, so for me, I still get that adrenaline, like, oh, God, okay, here we go. What's yeah. going to happen next? And, right. and it's exhilarating. At the same time, I get scared because yeah. I want it to be good. I know that and, feeling. Yeah. I don't, you know, I don't act, but like when you have a high pressure shoot and you have some things like you're, it's, it's an out of body of experience where you don't, the shoot ends and you don't even really know how long it, like what happened. Yes. Like I have a hard time, like uh, sometimes going back and going, okay. I think about things I wanted to do or I didn't get to, especially yeah. if it's someone who's like a well known person, you don't get much time with them. So you're like, ah. But, you're so focused on this character. You're trying not to, 
to remember your lines in the way to like recite lines because that's a horrible way to act. It is. For but, me, at least. Yeah, and they have to come out in the, your character. Yes. And that's where I think that out-of-body experience comes where you can just disappear into it. Oh, right? yeah. And well, and, and when what I love the process to do is when I go into hair and makeup and then I go into my room and I get dressed and then the character starts coming to life a little bit more. Yeah. And, if, and sometimes when I, I, like I've had scenes where I've had like four, five, sometimes six pages of me just monologuing it. Yeah. And, and there's something to that. I get scared because once you start going and, and you can, you, my brain sometimes jumps around yeah. as, as Stacy, and if I can just let the character take over, she knows exactly what to do. And it's right. a lot about it, 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 it's about trust. Yeah. And trust in all the work that you've done. All the work I've done since I was, you know, a, a 18 years old moving sure. to New York. I mean, right. so you've got to trust that I've done this and it's not yeah. so difficult, but it is for me still. I well, still think that. Well, and I that. would say that because I've known you for, I, 30, <laughs> 40 years, 40 yeah. years probably. Wow. Maybe more. I know. No, no, more. No, no. Has it been? No, no. It's been 40 <laughs> years. I'm not that old. Uh, but uh, to see you acting, you really see how much transformation there is in mm -hmm. each of your characters. And that's been very cool to see because, but you've also had the luxury, at least on soaps, of playing these outlandish, very physical characters Yes. With a lot of problems. Yes. And mental problems. Yes. And devious people, <laughs> which as an actress has to be, as an actor has to be amazing. I love it's it. Good, yeah. I love it. I mean, I, but and there's no other place that you get to do this. This Full Exposure Podcast episode has been made possible through the support of Metro Health, University of Michigan Health, and Dr. Peter Hahn, who believe that creativity and the arts are essential to a rich, healthy, and fulfilling life.